In this lecture, we discuss what is digital image processing, how it work, advantage and limitation and some application of digital image processing. Digital image processing divided into two part. First is digital and second is image processing. So digital are the data that expressed in the series of zeros and one. It describes those electronic devices that store data and process data. And the second term is image processing. Image processing used to transfer the image into digital form and get useful information from it. And now we can understand what is digital image. So digital image are a set of information or a set of data that can be stored or handled by the digital computer. It is a type of image that made of pixels. It include printed text, photographs and artwork. Now what is pixel? Pixel consists of two words. First is pix that equals to pictures and second is l that equal to element. So the combination of elements of picture is known as pixel they are the elements or they are the small units of the picture that combine together to make a pix uh, to make a picture so digital image processing uh, are the softwares that we use to process the image to manipulate the image to make the image more clear and uh, in a digital form so digital image processing is a software which is used to manipulate the digital images by use of the computer system. It is used to enhance the images to get some more important information from it. For example, Adobe Photoshop and MATLAB, etc. These are all the software which is most famous to process the image and convert them into the digital form. It is also used in the conversion of signals from an image sensor into a digital image. A certain number of algorithms are used in the image processing. Here we have a figure that shows the phenomena how to convert an image into a processed image. So a picture is captured by the camera and has been sent to a DIP system just to remove all the detail and focus on the water drop by zooming in but uh, uh, the quality of the image remains same. So this flow show how an image is converted into the processed image by use the digital image processing system. The characteristic of uh, a DIP consists of it uh, provide cleared image. DIP do image enhancement to recollect the data through images. It used widely everywhere in many field it reduces the complexity of digital image processing. It is used to support a better experience of life. Here we have some advantages and disadvantages of DIP systems. First advantage is image reformatting. It uh, provides some tools to reformat the image. First image storage and retrieval. First and high quality image distribution. Controlled viewing. It can help to control the view of the image. And uh, the disadvantage of DIP is it is very much time consuming. It is very much costly depending on the particular system. And maybe uh, some softwares are uh, paid but some are free. But uh, the paid software are really uh, with the uh, high tools and uh, the systems and the uh, features of the paid tools are really very good. Qualified person can be used. Unqualified person cannot operate the DIP systems. Application of DIP. So DIP systems used in many fields nowadays like uh, image sharpening and restoration. In this uh, process, you can change the look and feel of the image. You can blur or uh, edit or make the image more sharp. In medical field, in medical field, image uh, processing system uh, used in many functions like uh, X-ray, CT scan, or PET scan. Robot VN. Uh, many robots in the robotic field use uh, DIP systems to find their way, to find their path. Like uh, line following uh, robot use uh, DIP system to find their path. Pattern recognition systems use uh, DIP system to recognize their pattern. So these are all the application of DIP systems. I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. Thank you for your time. But if you have any doubt or question, kindly ask in the comment box.